Welcome back to Wild Ireland. Today we're taking a bird's eye look at Wild Ireland because we have a very special new arrival. This is Odin, the Golden Eagle. So over the last couple of weeks, we've been building this incredible aviary. As you can see, it is absolutely massive and it allows him to fly and stretch his wings. Golden Eagles were once native to Ireland and they've since gone extinct. Now they were reintroduced back into Glen Bay National Park right here in Donegal. There he goes. Golden Eagles are one of our largest birds of prey, second only to the white-tailed sea eagle. They take their name from the golden brown plumage on their nape or the back of their neck. And you can really see it here on Odin when the sunlight hits him. He's a beautiful bird. Golden Eagles are very efficient predators and they've even been recorded hunting and killing deer and goats. There has also been some other new arrivals here at Wild Ireland. First though, let's check in on those famous little wild borlets. As you can see, they're growing incredibly fast and they're actually starting to eat solid food now on their own. This little guy actually has blue eyes. All of the others have brown eyes. Mum, Tori, has proven herself to be an excellent mother. Plenty of other babies around the park. How cute are these little guys? These are baby ferrets. Just about got their eyes open and check this little one out. We've also had lots of little baby pigeons born. We've also had 11 little guinea pigs born. We even have some little baby rabbits. This little orphaned American mink arrived with us last week. American mink were brought into this country uh, for the fur farming industry. And some activists stupidly released them into the countryside where they became a huge pest. They're a huge problem to our native wildlife. They're tenacious little predators. They're beautiful animals. It's not their fault that they're here. Look at them going to sleep. So they're tenacious little predators and uh, they're very harmful to the environment. They hunt and kill a lot of our own native wildlife. And in his own natural habitat, where he belongs in North America, they're no problem because they're part of the ecosystem there. Unfortunately, because they're an invasive species, he cannot go back to the wild. Now, we have been authorized to hold on to him here and keep him here for the rest of his life. Um, they do a lot of harm to our native birds, our native waterfowl. Um, but they're incredibly cute. He doesn't, it's not his fault that he was born in Ireland. Um, and if Wild Ireland hadn't agreed to take them, unfortunately he would have had to have been euthanized because they are an invasive species and they are so damaging to the environment. Now fortunately for him, we're actually going to build him a large natural habitat where he can live out the rest of his life in, in safety and he won't be able to do any harm to any of our native animals. But also he'll be a little ambassador and he'll educate our visitors about invasive species and how problematic they are. So they mainly live on the land, but like an otter, they can swim and they can catch fish and they can also catch ducks and other little uh, aquatic creatures. So he's still quite young, so I'm actually hand raising him and he's going to serve as a great little ambassador teaching people about invasive species. So visits to Wild Ireland are now going to be very different. You're going to have to log on to our website and there's going to be pre-booked tickets on there. You will have to pick a time slot to come and that avoids unnecessary queuing outside the front door. Anybody that has pre-bought tickets will be able to log in and pick a time to come. And I will update the Facebook and other social media as soon as those tickets are available. 
In the meantime, thank you for watching and see you all very soon at Wild Ireland.